is up guys it's so much welcome back we're gonna take a look at morden today his first ability is claw grass throws a grasping claw which reels in the first target it hits deals damage to enemy target blood magic drains blood from nearby enemies dealing continuous damage to you and the enemies and it decreases the enemy movement speed Nosferatu increases magic defense when surrounding enemies die Morden's match max HP increases and soul harvest which is his ultimate Roots a target in place, dealing massive damage and restores more than hits points. Now, at the beginning of matches, uh, it's got the barrier up. I know you guys have noticed you can teleport out. We did find out that this is something left in by the developers intentionally. That way you can do this. And I'm show you a little trick with more than that you could do. So let's jump right into it. All right, first starting out, you're going to want to grab the claw, teleport out. And let's see if we can't grab one of these guys. Drag him out with me. And now we've got an extra start. You got two people out. Yes, my ability is down, but you've got a head start on guys. Now this is the AI, which I've noticed they have done some changes to. And if you'll check this out, the AI is now gonna forcibly come try to take this buff, which they've never done before. Uh, so that is something that they have changed. And looks like Evelyn's gonna try to stay in. We're gonna grab her, drag her back. That's what Morden is good for. I don't have a teleport to catch up with her though. And she's gonna get away. So let's go back and um, let's see what we got. We got 1500 gold. Uh, the recommended build is a bit tanky for this guy. All right, we got a Darren here. Uh, let's try to drag, we missed him right there. Uh, catching people with that claw is, it's pretty tough uh, if you don't get him at the right angle it's really easy for him to avoid it I'm not sure how we avoided that there but they are definitely trying hard to go after Owen and let's see it looks like all three are still up top they are we're gonna drag one of them in we missed him again I'm not sure how we're missing him but demon shield is the first one on the recommended build this build goes off a lot of the tankiness and the survivability against magic defense. And as you can see, we're, we're not ranged, we're actually melee. And let's see, Evelyn's not really doing a whole lot. Gonna try to push this top lane. We've still got all three up top, which is kind of weird for AI to be doing this. But right, let's see if we can't drag one of you over into here and get a couple shots in. And once you level that thing up, it does go further out. Now, this ability here, this is the uh, blood magic. And it's going to deal damage to you and an enemy. Nice. We was able to do enough right there to take him out. Let's see if we can't drag somebody else in. Now, that's the only problem right there is if you're low health and you drag somebody in that's going to stun you, it could go in the opposite direction. Uh, we missed her again there. Let's go ahead and turn that off before we kill ourselves with it. Now, I'm not sure if you are able to kill yourself with that ability or if somebody else has to actually hit you. Oh, we'll test that out in just a second. Uh, movement speeds on the next. We'll turn this back on right here under the tower. And you see it's draining my health right there, but it's not going to allow me to kill myself with it. So that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and go back and heal up from that. That's very interesting. Now, since they are staying top, we're going to come back bottom lane. Let's going to clear some of this stuff out. We now have the ultimate, which the ultimate roots the target in place, deals 60 damage per second and restores the HP equal to 125% of the damage dealt. And it lasts for three seconds. So that's 180 damage over three seconds that is going to do. And it's going to restore 125% of that damage you do back into your health. Uh, that's really good for dragging people under towers and then rooting them there in place that way it gives you the time To heal up a little bit if you've taken any damage and then of course you're gonna have somebody stuck under the tower And of course you could just take them out pretty easily with those extra tower hits early game That's a good way to get some quick kills in now, Let's continue pushing down here. They're still all three looks like up top. They're not trying to contest anything I'm doing down here I do have an ultimate, so I'm gonna go back up top and I'm gonna try to drag one of these guys in. I'm not gonna push on this tower right here. I'm not trying to end the match currently. I actually wanna test out what this guy does. Now you see the buff is not up. So the AI is actively now going after buffs. We come in just the right time, catch that person. And Darren, you're not gonna get away. 
I guess he did. All right. Well, the uh, hook's not hook's not very easy to uh, master. Once you can get it down, though, you can drag people in. We got him stunned with the ultimate. Didn't want to let him get away, so we teleported in on him. And that puts us up three to one. Let's check buff. Buff is actually up, so we're going to grab it. Upgrade that uh, magic defense ability. And with this build, you're not really doing very much damage. Now, that was one of the lowest level uh, NPCs that you're going to see. And you see it took a good bit to kill that at level seven. So it looks like he's not that efficient with the recommended build to actually take out minions. Now, we got a shrink right there. Got her caught. Now the range for that ultimate is really, really low. And as you can see at that level, it really doesn't do a whole lot. That's why I said pulling them under a tower is probably going to be the best thing to do. Because that's going to give you more damage on people. As you can see, the tower taking those guys out, the 45 gold taken from it, from the last update that they did. Now, I did hear that they released another character today, but they had to take it back out because it was crashing the game uh, so that was pretty interesting of what's going on now uh, Ember's going back so let's uh let's try to grab oh we grabbed our own guy that's probably what the problem has been you can grab your own teammates as well and let's check down here oh, okay we got phase see what phase tries to do i've not really run into phase too much uh, she's ranged and let's turn on this ability see if we can't do some more damage to her got her caught in that she's regained she regen health all the way through that ability that was really weird the whole time i was using my ultimate she was regaining health so that was really odd uh, to see Try to get away from him. We don't want to get caught by him. Evelyn knocked me up. And let's just go ahead and grab this heal right here. And let's just push back down on the bottom lane. I see Darren's down there. And 33 seconds left on mid buff anyway. So let's turn him up, see what he can do. Uh, especially versus a Darren. Now this is 2v1 right here. I'll turn that off before I do get myself killed by my own ability from another person attacking me all right demonic axe is the fifth one so you got three tanky items movement and life do which life do has really helped a lot since the changes they did with the 1.2 update uh, i am seeing people use it a lot more myself included and let's see if we can't catch her in uh we missed her with the stun okay we got her in the stun right there this tower is going to do work that's the one thing that you're going to be able to do with Morden that's going to be really annoying to somebody else is catch him off guard, pull him under that tower, and let that tower do the work for you. Uh, it's going to do a lot more damage than you're able to put out, so use what you have. And were they attacking him already? No, doesn't look like it. They did get buff again, so let's see if we can't catch somebody out. All right, Owen's pushing. Ember went back again. And Owen's just up here going crazy by himself. So we're going to jump in. Hit FaZe a couple times. Actually, let's pull FaZe out. Got her with the ultimate. Took him out. Nice. And Evelyn, you're coming up. You want some too? Ember will give you a little bit. I have nothing left for you. You try to run, I'm going to hook you. Nice. That is pretty awesome. Now the last ability, of course, is the Royal Crown. That's going to be used to level up the ultimate. Uh, if you do go with this, uh, I probably would level that up first if you go to tier 2 on that. Uh, we're up 6 to 1. And like I said, as you can tell, his attack's not very high. Go ahead and take out some more of this stuff. We got two of them in here. But with the O in here, I'm not too, too worried about it. He can throw out the heals help out a little bit I'm gonna try to hook her we missed let's go ahead and take out that last minion and let's get away from that drop back down and let's farm up a little bit more 10 seconds on that right there and Darren what's up dude 
We're not going to be able to take him out, so I'm just going to go ahead and go grab this heal. And let's see if we can't catch him. We got eight seconds on the ultimate again. His ultimate is a very, very low cooldown timer. So that's going to help out a good bit. Oh, he's really messed up. We're going to drag him on the other side right here. I don't know if the tower actually did target him. No, it didn't. There were still minions out. But can we drag him back in? Yes, we can. Yes, that is awesome. All right, let's turn that off uh, before we do end up hurting ourselves even more. Now, I probably would do some type of uh, life regen on him. Uh, the life dude does pretty good. We're healing for 24 every tick on uh, level 11. But you're going to want something a little bit more than that. So maybe a Chaos Claw or something like that to help out. Now I'm going to go with this fourth level ultimate. I know I'm not level 12 yet. So that took it up only to level 3. And we have Darren chasing me down. So hopefully he will continue coming back further this way. Come on. No, come back further. Oh, he didn't want to come in. He had stuff on the tower. So I guess he peeled back. Well, the tower is gone actually. Uh, so here he is again. I want to try to draw him in closer to this tower. I'm not sure how easy it's going to be able to do for actual people. So let's see if we can't just get him close enough. And then let's see if we can't make him commit to trying to actually kill me. So, well, he's not doing very much damage to me. That's one thing. The tankiness, uh, you people know how much damage Darren's able to do. The stuns, when he transforms, he's able to pretty much just destroy anybody we missed him with that there uh, so the range on that is very limited but you can still get caught in it all right we now have the fourth level ultimate uh, let's see what this entails uh, 185 damage per second and still restores the uh, damage done by 125 percent so let's peek back up top we got a power buff that is up and let's go ahead and snag one of these guys out. Catch Evelyn on the run. Nice. There we go. All right, 10 to 1. So Morton's really good at catching somebody trying to run away. Uh, and very early game is good for dragging people under towers. Real good to hold up against magic defense as well with this type of build. And that build kind of plays off of this ability right here where it increases his magic defense and when surrounding enemies die it increases your max hp by 20 percent is that 20 percent no it's just by 20 so it's only a 20 hp increase off of the third level but hey every time one of them dies you get more hp evelyn you're not going to get away let's hit her with an ultimate all right we'll just teleport in on top over we didn't get that kill but our ultimate did go down trying to do as much damage as we can right here i'm real tanky so i'm not too too worried about it especially with owen right there as well i did get stunned uh we hit that we hit fades instead of grabbing darren so it's a bit unfortunate we do have an ultimate here soul harvest okay you can get stunned while you're in soul harvest that's kind of interesting um this is a pretty crazy fight going on right here we've got everybody stacked up right under the tower Got Darren back. I didn't have my ultimate up to stun him with though. That's a very uh, concise timing you have to do to catch that perfectly. Because look at the uh, area, the range on that ability right there, that soul harvest. It's not very wide, so they literally need to be standing almost right on top of you. And um, let's see if we can't pull one of these guys out. We pulled our own guy out. And let's go ahead and engage Darren again. And we're going to try to use this other ability as well, the uh, one that hurts you. Since we're not doing do too bad, we can actually just stay in a little bit. Can we catch him with the ultimate? Oh, they all got away. The range on that ultimate is ridiculous. We did catch that one right there, but that didn't help out too, too much. Let's turn that buff off before we do kill them ourselves. Let's just go back and farm a little bit. Now, I do like how they change some stuff uh, where it makes you have to go farm a little bit more. Uh, so hopefully people will actually get used to that. We leveled up to 14. Come on, Darren. 
Got him caught in the ultimate. Owen's on him as well. Looks like we might be able to take him out right here. He's going to try to run. Let's grab him. So close. Oh, my goodness. That was so close. If I had this other ability running, that might have been able to take him out. But I don't like doing that much damage to myself, especially with that many people around. So I guess you have to be very, very useful. Or not useful, but actually cautious of that ability because you can kill yourself. You see I'm healing myself. It's only doing about 113 to heal me with that ability, which is not very much. Uh, so let's actually go up with some more demonic armor, get some more tankiness out of this. And let's take out a little bit of this on the bottom lane and push towards that tower. Go ahead and take this stuff out. We'll be able to push on that tower because they're all three up top. And once I do take this tower out, it'll give me, what, another 225 uh, gold plus the gold from hitting it. So it does increase as you go up, but you're doing more damage to it. So I guess it's damage appropriated to how much gold you get from attacking a tower. But that same set gold amount is going to be there at uh, 225 now instead of the 600 and something that it was previously at in previous patches. I'm going to leave that right there so we don't end the match currently. Because I'm going to go up here and kill some more of these guys. We're at 11 to 1. AI does feel a little bit different. I'm not sure exactly what they changed with it. But they did change something. So we're going to jump in here. We got a little bit of tankiness. So we're going to stay in. We got Owen back here healing. And let's see if we can't get away. Now another thing you can do is you can grab them and teleport. Uh... I'll try that with my next one that I have up when my teleport is up. Uh, we'll forget that. We'll just go down here and help her. Evelyn's a bit tanky as well, but we might have enough. Let's just hook her. We got her. And Darren, he's going to stun me and run. FaZe comes in. What do you got, FaZe? All right, we got 17 seconds on this teleport. I want to try this to see if I can actually get it down. Because I have seen it done before. You can teleport while using uh, your hook. And it drags them that much further back if they have not fixed that yet. Now let's see. Owen, no. Owen, no. Alright, let's hit her. Get her slowed down. She's trying to kill Owen. She just took an ultimate from Ember. And if she keeps going, she's going to get caught. This is exactly what AI does. This is what AI does in matches when it comes in and helps somebody else. You see that? It just literally it just ran in. All right, we're going to grab him with a hook. No, we missed him. All right, we'll try this again. I didn't use the teleport right there. So phase. Let's see if we can't grab phase. Uh, we'll upgrade, level up. Uh, more anti-magic cloak. Not sure why, but it's just there. Why not? All right, FaZe, let's try this. Wow, okay, it didn't hook. Uh, I guess it hooked somebody else. So I know that is possible, though. It's a little bit hard to actually uh, make it happen. But as you can see, if you build a little bit differently, you'd probably be doing a lot more damage than what I'm doing with him currently. This is a really tanky build for him. Uh, I mean, just look at all the hit points that you have. I've got, what, two more bars than this Evelyn does right here, so... They would have to take me to, they would have to take a third of my health just for it to be even right there. Uh, that's level 16 as well. We have all three of them. I mean, it is a fairly tanky build though. I mean, if that's what you want to go with, uh, it's possible to use this. If you've got somebody you're running with that's good ADC, um, I'm not sure how they got caught back there. Looks like she teleported back in actually. All right, we're doing moderate damage to people again. And I want to try to catch this Evelyn and teleport, but it's it's a really tough thing to actually time and get down correctly. Uh, we'll try it again. There we go. We got Darren. Pulled him away from everybody. Use the ultimate on him. Turn this on. Let's see if we can't do some damage now. Since we have so much magic defense, maybe that'll help out. And he's running. 
and we're not going to be able to catch up with him the hook's not back up in time but there it was guys you can actually see that you're able to hook somebody and drag them along with you you're dead thank you ember now i did use my ultimate again there but that's game they made it through on the bottom from when i went down there and took the tower out guys this is morden what do you think about this legend do you use him a lot do you even have him what kind of build do you like using with morden uh, if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below, guys. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. I am Solbash. You guys have a nice day. You're ready.